Right then, folks. Got back to exhausted already. Right then, folks. I had to do a small diversion because it was thick mud there. Plus, there was a group of about ten teenage boys coming along. Obviously, on a hike, they all had rucksacks, and there wouldn't have been room for all of us. So I, I just did a little tiny detour, and it was drier actually than having to plough through thick furrows of mud. <clears throat> Brent Knoll over there. So, um, as you can see, there's been an awful lot of rain. I mean, I don't know whether what this was here. Whether it's, it was harvested at one point, wasn't it? Loads of manure, something you can't capture on video. I managed to avoid, fortunately, because those young lads were coming along, I, I did a diversion to allow them to get by and to prevent myself going into thick furrows of mud. So in a way, that, that uh, worked out fine. We're coming up to a little bridge now, going over a little tiny stream, a little tributary, and uh, there's a uh, pond fishing up here. I think it's called Ship Lake or Laid. It might be called Ship Laid or Ship Lake. A little tiny hamlet, which is one or two homes here and of course right up there that's where I'm heading right up there the farm that probably does all the orchards here the cider apples can't see any cows in that field there is a cow but you see the other side of the fence up there so it'll probably be okay most of that is usually all right Now these boys might have churned all this up walking through here. They've probably all got walking boots on. All out having fresh air. Looked like they were having fun anyway. Um, doing something good, you know, out walking. Healthy looking boys. Yeah, this there's a just a bit here. It's going to be a bit scratchy with the brambles. We just have to keep crossing over. Go along a bit, cross over, go sideways at like this. Go either side of the the sklerg. That's it. I can't imagine there being a lot of thick mud, but you never know. You never know. Yeah, well, this is springtime. And, uh, trying to fit in a few good walks, not just going up the beach, not just going up Sand Bay or through the woods. Just getting off track a bit. And making you feel like you've had a nice walk. You know, there's, on the top of that hill over there, it's called the Roman Road. It's very straight. And uh, you can pick up the West Mendip Way up there. When I did the 22 mile walk for Save the Children on two occasions, we actually started much, much further back, but we started near Weston. We ploughed along that hill. And then we weaved in and out lanes, bridle paths, cross country, going past Cheddar, pretty, on the way to Wells. There's always sheep in this field. 
do with uh, something to tie that up a bit more though. And I've came down here, within the last year I've done it in reverse. I've actually done this. Within 12 months I've actually done it. I'm, I'm now doing it the other way around. I'm now doing it the other way around. I can see the gate across the other side. And here's a, a place where you can come and fish. It's a fish farm, if you like. Look at that view, everyone. Look at it. What beauty we've all got before us. What beauty. I see this. You can see this from the beach and from Sand Bay. You can actually pick up. Brent Knoll, I mean, and bring down. You can actually see the, this little valley here, this little alluvial plain of fertile soil. And the slight purple haze bit, little lane, <coughs> and each side are apple orchards. I've watched those plants grow over the years. I watched them when they were first little tiny saplings that have been put in. And uh, they were well cared for. They really were. I think there must be cider apples. Now, right over there, I can see a herd of sheep, which I call panda sheep. They've got a special name. I met some of them on the coastal walk. They look like pandas, don't they? There are some brown ones, mainly black and white. But apparently, they get that particular type of cow. Someone told me it attacked, killed somebody. There's a road that runs through here. It comes from Bleeden, goes to Loxton. I've cycled it, I've walked it. Now, because I, I used to use Alberta a lot, it made me a bit lazy. I'm thinking of getting my bike out and start doing a little bit of cycling now I've done an awful lot of family tree stuff I do it all the time anyway but I did an awful lot of family tree stuff um, with me van going all over the country Scotland a lot those boys will be going up that way soon Unless they go across the bridge, depends which way they're going. Yeah, this is a lovely, lovely... Look at this one. Like I said, the ground is a bit boggy. There's loads and loads of sheep. In fact, if I go over near the edge, it might be less boggy. There's a sheep there. You're about to all have babies, I expect, aren't you, you lot? You look like you're ready to have some. You're a big, big sheepy, aren't you? But you've got two in there. Yeah. So we're going up. We're going right up. Whichever way I came, did it, I still would have had to gone up. So it don't matter if I do it here or if I actually go further down. And this is the way I wanted to do it. Uh, it's not my normal way. <laughs> it's harder going up, isn't it? <laughs> you know? But it's a nice day. It's a lovely day for a walk. Beautiful. There's some lovely old farms around here, by the way, as well. There's one over there with um, a huge... It's a... It might have been a barn once, but it sort of looks like it's been converted into a house now. But, uh, yeah, they've maintained the farms really well. I'm, I don't even know how the farmers survive half the time. I'll have to cross a little tiny road. And, uh, and then... From that little tiny road, I go up, straight up, um, not straight up, 
there is a little lane, a minor, 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 minor road, which allows the big farmhouse to join up with this one. Because the there's a, another great big home up there somewhere. I got lost in there once. I came out in one of these fields because I thought, just in case they were, they had their dogs roaming free. See, you've got, you have got to be careful. You've got to be careful. You don't know if people have got their dogs roaming free. <sighs> they should be allowed to on their own land, see? But right up the top, the roaming road. Like I said, this whole of this area is steeped in rich history. A lot's recorded, right to the Romans, and, the, and proper archaeologists and historians would have gone further back. I hope we're not going back to medieval times, though. I'll tell you why, because the way things are going at the moment... <sighs> you imagine if they take people's cars petrol away. Imagine if that happens. And, uh... That would, you know, and, and wow. There's lots of things that would really, really drive people crazy. It could be living in a consumer society, you see. But I'm wondering if they're changing the game. Going back to more agricultural society. And a more... Sustenance type society, and which would mean peasants, paupers, and kings. And uh, if they take, if they do that, will they replace the shops? Will they replace? Will you have a computer? Will it be out of your reach? You know, at the moment, everybody's been geared up to the people, but the one percent rule the world, basically, and they've all got together. And they want to change society. And it might not happen overnight. But they can make, by using this virus as an excuse, they can impose on people. But of course there will be groups of people far more intelligent than me that already think on these lines. And they might have ideas what we can do. If, if they are going to go down that route. Treading on the people again. This is how it makes you think, though, in this sort of power and control game. Because that's what it is at the moment. And it's, it's at the moment, I'm allowed to walk out here like this. They might say you've got to have a piece of paper, a special pass. You know, I'll go mad if I had to say confined. I'd get real bad cabin fever. And like I said, a lot of us haven't even known anyone with this virus. It's supposed to be on the expo exponential up on the curve now. Which means everyone's supposed to be dropping like flies and dying by their hundreds. But you've got to remember that a lot of people die at this time of the year anyway. In their thousands. The old man's friend gets a lot of people. Just going to zoom in. I thought I saw a couple of calves. Look at that. Are they horses? Actually, they look like small ponies, little Shetlands. Yeah, they are. Right, so now we're walking up each side of this hedgerow of the orchard fields. All in neat little rows like soldiers. And soon, it will be very, very pretty here when all the blossom comes out on the apple trees. When that happens, it'll look, you know, there's more greenery. I mean, this is the beginning of spring. Everything's well juiced up. We've had a lot of rain. Over and out for a little while. 